Greetings! Today's video comes with a bit of story. I once told myself that if I ever saw Schminke's tin with 18 half pans, I'd see about getting it. And, of course, this happened. I was made aware of this set by Marty Owings here on YouTube. Marty is a great artist, a very kind person, and also a big Schminke fan. He's often mentioned his local art store, Wet Paint, in the past, and they are the only one carrying this special edition set. In fact, this special set was made for them. The colors were selected by Minnesota botanical artist Marilyn Garber. It's a really nice set, resulting from the collaboration of Wet Paint, artist Marilyn Garber, Schminke, and I Am Art. Back to this set. It has room for 18 half pans, or 9 full pans, or anything in between. It comes with 12 half pans, 5 of which are new colors released by Schminke for their anniversary in 2017. The edges of the tin and the insert are super sharp. I still can't fathom the logic of why some Schminke sets are that way and why some other have the friendlier rolled edges. This tin is the same size as their limited edition 2017 porcelain insert set. It is much lighter though. The porcelain insert is very heavy. I took a moment as I unwrapped the pans to write the color's name on them using a Pilot Twin Marker Pen. This pen works really well on pans and the writing dries quickly. Schminke's labeling is hit or miss and I wanted this to be more practical. Here they are all unwrapped and labeled. They are all the trademark super smooth poured schminke pens, except for the quinacridone red light, which was slightly textured and had a bump on the band. The colors in this set are Lemon Yellow, Indian Yellow, Cobalt Azure, one of the new colors, French Ultramarine Blue, another new color, Delft Blue, Brilliant Red Violet, Brilliant Blue Violet, May Green, Perylene Green, a new color, Cadmium Red Light, Quinacridone Red Light, new color, and ruby red deep, also a new color. Some colors in this set I have bought and used before. Others were completely new. I love the new cobalt azure. It has a gorgeous color and granulation effect. Delft blue, although not a new color, is made with one of my favorite pigment. It's a lovely deep blue, like Indian Throne blue. In all, this set has two yellows, three blues, three reds, two greens, and two purples. It has no neutral and no earth tone colors. I find this a bit puzzling, but I'm confident that these can mix to compensate that absence.
Since the really nice folks at Wetpaint have already painted the chart, I took the easy way and printed it out to tape to the bottom of my page. It might not be completely accurate to the colors, but it's enough to give me an indication of the range available. There seems to be a few possibilities to paint neutrals and some earth tones, but it's fairly limited. I compared the color lineup to the other 12 colors Schmincke sets I have. This set has no colors in common with the historical set of 12 full pans, but it has four colors in common with the porcelain set of 12 half pans. May green, perylene green, French ultramarine, and delft blue are all found in both of these sets. Since it's a botanical set, I figured I'd try to paint some flowers. I'm fairly inexperienced, so it's gonna be an experiment. I started using that cobalt azure paint, and I also added in perylene green and the blue violet, which mixes into a nice dark neutral with the green. I also realized that this Stillman and Burns sketchbook is not ideal for juicy layers of color, and it tends to backrun a lot. It's probably a better idea to paint this wet on 100% cotton paper. When I started to notice the nice granulation effect from the cobalt azure is the moment I fell in love with the color. I love the subtle depth of color it adds to mixes. I'm a bit bothered that this set features fluorescent pigments in two of its colors. They are not known for being light fast and it's a slight bummer to know in advance that this color will change faster than the others. Unfortunately, at the time of this review, this specific set is no longer available, as it has sold out. You can still buy the colors separately and put them in a tin of your choice. I know that the tins from the Prima marketing sets and the ones you can find on Amazon, eBay or AliExpress are affordable and they often have the practical rolled edges. I still wanted to review this set as I find it interesting that the color selection has been made with botanical art in mind. I'll be 100% honest here and say that I got this set mostly because of the tin. Empty schminke tins are crazy expensive and when I did the mats, it still was a good deal to get all of this rather than hunt down an empty tin in that model. The pros of this set. It's a rare tin, good price, this set has a value of $225 according to wet paints website, good quality paint, no black or white paint, good color selection for botanicals, extra room for more paints, and easy to carry. The cons for this set, the sharp metal edges on the tin, it's sold out, no earth tones to help paint other things than botanicals, 
and repeat colors if you also have the porcelain botanical set by Schmincke. I can't recommend this set per se, since it's no longer available as is, but I'd suggest getting that cobalt azure color at least. Wet paint sells this color, and Jackson's does too. I think it's remarkable. None of the other colors were particularly striking, though they were all lovely. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day! Bye bye!